It's Bill Quinn for Overheard Productions and 36DF, or possibly DC. I sort of changed my mind on that one, I think, as of this afternoon. Uh, I did a lovely little interview with Yeshe Rainers, and that will be coming up very soon on Overheard Productions. Wow. That's the stuff. That's what we're here for. So I did a lovely little interview, and I was joking, I think I actually said in the interview, I think I said something along the lines of, Oh, you know, blah, 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 and it's 36 degrees, as I always use 36 and everything. And, um, blow me down, I drove away from Liverpool Hospital where I was parked to do the interview. Not specifically to do the interview, I just happened to be there. So it made sense to just stop and cool my jets. <laughs> I had the windows up to get the traffic noise away. It was absolutely sauna-like conditions. Where, if you hear the, um, here it comes. Whoa! If you listen to the audio, if you listen to the audio of the interview, uh, I'm talking really, really slowly, and that's because I'm just concentrating on my breathing to make sure I don't actually pass out. Well, here we go. This will be good. Because we've got all these flat surfaces around here so that sound just ricochets off. Come on, must be moving away. Yeah. Um, yeah, so as I was driving away from uh, the zone of the Liverpool Hospital, uh, I looked down and I got a picture of it somewhere. Actually, I'll probably include it in the, uh, in the little WordPress story I'm going to do later tonight. It was 36 degrees, <laughs> according to the car. It was brilliant. A little, just a little uh, bit of synchronicity. All right, that's much better. I just realised I, I didn't have my um, case lined up with the whole, as the, uh, as the actor said to the bishop. No, as the strand bags retail assistant said to the bishop, holy moly. Good due diligence, excellent. No, I'll keep saying that. I mean, good, good signage. I um, have just had lunch. It's currently about five o'clock. I have just had lunch. This is almost biblical. I love it. Can I just say a big hello to Greg Quinn, uh, late of this planet, 22nd of August 1998. If he were here, he'd be the sat beside me saying, just shut up and just experience this all night. <laughs> it was moving. All right, where were we? Oh no, I'm using the wrong one. Oh, I might struggle to actually get this loaded up because this is really high, high, high resolution. Oh well, whatever. Okay, so I'll wrap it up and make it quicker because it's going to be impossible to upload anywhere. As I found out in Brisbane when I did a 10 minute outpouring of my soul back in May at, on the uh, top floor of the Youth Hostel there in Brisbane. And um, anyway, look, here's the points. Uh, oh, this will be good. Yeah, pretty much like that one. Did a wonderful interview with Yeshe Rainers, came around here, saw it was 36 degrees, then went inside the shopping mall here. Oh, I won't, I won't turn around because there's people there. Here we go again. Oh. So, went inside the shopping mall and I was actually sat there, just, I'd been to the chemist, I've got, ladies and gentlemen, some of the lowest blood pressure readings I've ever, ever, ever gotten since I started watching it very closely in the last few years. Lowest blood pressure readings ever, 119 over 80, not much. Whoa, here we go. No. And um, then I was sat there just filling myself up on gastrolytes, having a little bit of lunch, uh, slamming down a uh, lemon solo. It's light on the fizz, so you can slam it down fast. Anyway, then I sit there, not saying much, woman next to me doing the same thing on a little smartphone, when suddenly the lights flickered. We sort of looked at each other as if to go, whoa! We looked at each other as if to say, what's going on? And then the next thing we heard this. And I said, right, gotta go. Grabbed all my stuff, raced up to the first person I could find, said, where's the nearest exit? He said, down there, past Santa. I still can't swing around because there's a lovely blonde woman behind me. And uh, she's inside a uh, private premises and I'm not gonna film somebody um, inside a private premises. Uh, and here we are. 
at um, I don't know five o'clock or something. I'm not going to hand me around till 6:36 on the uh, on the uh, speedometer on the odometer. I'm just going to say it's Bill Quinn. The wind's coming in now. Um, can I just say R.I.P. Philip Hughes? What a moving, amazing ceremony. I didn't see it all. Uh, heard a lot of it on radio, and um, I'm just reading a little bit now on the net about what's going on. The wind is sweeping the, the rain this way, and uh, it is. Uh, I think it's just about arc building time. Here we go, last one. Oh, that's a bit of a muffled one. Bill Quinn for Overheard Productions and 36DF, possibly 36DC. I might go and cool my jets down at the Railway Hotel and wait till this all blows over. I will walk. I am going to go, Jack Lee, if you're listening, I'm going to be uh, cluing you in on this. I'm going to be tagging you in, Jack Lee. I'm going to go singing in the rain, my friend. I will not sing wherever I go because it's not the 26th of Feb or whatever it is. But I will go and sing in the rain and something like that light post over there. I'll find a few of those to swing around on and uh, do a bit of Gene Kelly work. It is now coming up for 6.36 and I will say from Liverpool, from Westfields, Liverpool, still to be Westfields, Liverpool, changing management to Centre Group, but they're still being called Westfields. Uh, this is Bill Quinn for Overheard Productions. It's 36 DC or DF and God. <laughs>